exasperated. Well, <laughs> I hope you don't think that this is any easy job for... Well, goodbye. <laughs> uh, yes, I know, I understand. Your brother is in an army hospital in Washington. Oh, I'll take anything. And... I'll sit up, but I've just got to get to him. But, my dear young lady, don't you understand? There is no space available, none at all. Uh, no, no reservations. Oh, no, 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 no. And that means no, and that goes for you, too. <clears throat> now, don't you look at me like that. <clears throat> Oh, dear, why didn't I get into some friendly business, like collecting for a finance company, or... Uh, uh, I've got an idea. The government is putting on a special car tomorrow evening for the movie stars who are going to Washington for the big Victory Bond show. <clears throat> Bing Crosby is in charge, and if you could get to the studio tomorrow morning and tell him your story, <laughs> maybe... Uh... Oh! Oh, you're wonderful! I'd like two bedrooms and a compartment to Chicago. Yes, sir. Uh, what am I saying? No. 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 So I've just got to see Mr. Crosby, please. Sure, sure. Look, lady, nobody gets in here without a pass, not even... Oh, hiya, Mr. Bensley. Got a pass for the lady? She doesn't need one, Bill. She's my new stand-in. Oh, well, that's okay, then. What do you mean, stand-in? That girl's a woman. She... Uh... Hey! Hey! Come back here, you... Oh, hiya, Miss Lynn. <laughs> Rehearsal for the victory caravan. Quiet. Gee, Betty Hutton. Behind each soldier, sailor, or marine, you will find some modest little queen. share his woes, whose heart goes with him where he goes. Although she seldom makes the whole of fame, she's all important just the same. Hep, hep. <laughs> Sweetheart of the U.S. Plain Jane Doe Doesn't rate the rave of a whacker way But she's just as brave at the canteen What a gal Designed to build up your morale And someday history books will show Though we had the might and our cause was right, who'd the boys go out and fight for? Plain Dog! Plain Jane Dog!
mother any girl could be proud of. Listen, Bing's over at the recording stage watching Carmen Cavallero rehearse a number. Now, you go on over there and tell him I said to get you on that train. Go on. Oh, thank you, Miss Stanwyck. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Please. Why, Bella, don't you know it isn't nice to chase little girls? <laughs> she hasn't got a pass. Mr. Laird, he's trying to keep me from seeing Bing Crosby. Hey, what are you, Bob Hope's secret agent? She hasn't got a pass. Oh, I've just got to see Mr. Crosby. The Victory Caravan's leaving tonight, and I just have to be on it. You do? Well, you go ahead. I'll take care of Willie. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> hey, this is more fun in real life than it is in the movies. You know, Bing, it's for boys like him that we're doing this Victory Caravan. Certainly little enough to do. Look at the fruit salad on his chest there, huh? Looks like your big brother's been up where they really play for keeps. And all they ask us to do is to buy victory bonds. Honey, we're gonna get you on that train if we have to make the engineer get off and walk. Right in through here, Carmen Cavallaro's gonna give us some very good Gershwin. I got rhythm. You wanna go over there with me and sit down and see what we can figure out? Of course, we can listen a little, too. <laughs> Thank you, Bing. Say, I have an idea. What's this? Why don't you and Bob Hope double up in your lower berth? Oh, I'd hate to ask them to do that. Oh, I don't mind, but uh, Hope may be a little difficult. You see, this is the first time he's ever had a chance to ride inside the train. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go to Bob and tell him your story? Yes, and then he'll tell you his story, and you better have your track shoes on. Oh, I'm kidding, honey. He's, he's really a very sympathetic, understanding man. He'll probably show you his scrapbook, and then you can both have a good cry. Go to him. I will, and and thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm, cute little mouse. Oh, no, not that. I'd do anything else in the world to help you, but I slept with Crosby once. You know what he does all night? He dreams about horses. All night long, he kept going... Kept beating me with a bedpost. When I woke up in the morning, I'd eaten all the straw out of the mattress. I... That's it. Yes, yes, Eddie. Came in second. And there's a meat shortage. <laughs> oh, I, I know it's a lot to ask you, Mr. Hope, but my brother's so lonesome. Look, there's nothing I wouldn't do for a GI, but lard and myself in a lower berth? <laughs> That's a concentration camp with pajamas. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, don't think turning on the tears is going to change my mind. I've had women crying over me all my life. 
No, sir, I've got a will of iron. Ah, Hetty. Hetty. You're beautiful. Speak to me. Say something. Come on, Gluefoot. Giddy up there. Giddy up, Gluefoot. Come on. Come on, boy. Get in the money. Just once. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob Hollywood Victory Caravan Hope telling you not to let up on buying those bonds. Don't stop at nothing, and your bank account will be as well stacked as Betty Hutton. I've been working very hard on this bond tour. I even offered to kiss anybody that would buy a $50 bond. I only sold one, and Boris Karloff wants his money back. But now to open our show with a reminder that our South American friends are always with us, here's Miss Olga San Juan singing Rumba Matumba and putting everything into her singing from south of her border to north of the Hayes office. Miss Hulgus, Miss... <laughs> hubba hubba. <laughs> she just set the good neighbor policy back eight years. <laughs> selling kisses for a $50 war bond. I'll take one, please. Well, there's just a few left. How was it? I think Boris Karloff was right. Yeah. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Humphrey Bogart. We've had a lot of bond drives. You people have proven by your magnificent response to each one of them you know exactly why they were necessary. We've also had a lot of patriotic speeches. I'm sure you don't need another one from me to tell you why we need this victory loan. You know why it's important that we make this victory loan the smashing climax of all bond drives. Our fighting men have just won history's greatest victory for freedom. They didn't stop until they finished their job. It's up to us not to stop buying bonds until we finish our part of the job. We've got to bring those boys home. It's up to us to see that they get what they were promised and what they have every right to expect in medical care, hospitalization, rehabilitation, and economic opportunity. 
Your victory loan dollars will fulfill your pledge to the men who won the victory. This is the last chance victory loan. It's your last chance as a member of an organized civilian army to buy bonds for their future and for your own future. This theater staff stands ready at all times, day or night, to sell you victory loan bonds. With your help, this theater staff has a magnificent record in seven war loan campaigns. They have a quota in this victory loan. And it's part of the state's, your city's quota. And now for many happy returns, follow the musical advice of Bing Crosby in the United States Maritime Service Training Station Choir from Avalon, California. As they sing a new song by Harold Adamson and Jimmy McHugh. Sing it, Bing. <laughs> We've got another bond to buy. We've got another bond to buy. The bonds we bought before bought the bond that won the war. Now we've got another bond to buy. Well, you may think the war is won, but we can't leave the job half done. The boys have seen it through, now the rest is up to you. Yes, we've got another bond to buy. Bonds away, put your dough where it earns. Bonds away, and someday you'll get so many happy returns. You know with every bond you buy, you've done your part for some brave guy. We got to play it square with the boys we've got out there, so we've got another bond to buy. We've got another bond to buy. Go out and buy it. We got another bond to buy. Go out and buy it. The, the bonds, bonds we bought before bought, bought the bond that won the war. Now we've got another bond to buy. Dig in your pocket. Oh, you may think the war is won. Ask any soldier. But we can leave the job half done. The Navy will tell you. The boys have seen it through. Now the rest is up to you. Yes, we've got another bond to buy. Bonds away, put your dough where it is. Bonds away, and someday you'll have so many happy returns. You know with every bond you buy. Done your part for some brave guy. There's Joe and Jim and Jack, and we gotta bring them back. Buy a bond.